is a budget that is high on oil prices and low on support for families and businesses. Only the UCP could have soaring commodity prices and still find new ways to disappoint the hardworking people of this province. Sky-high oil and no stability in our hospitals or health care system. Sky-high oil and almost 1,000 fewer teachers in our schools than from when we were last in office. Sky-high oil prices and no real plan for jobs or economic diversification. Sky-high oil and no help for Albertans who can't pay their utility bills today. The Premier may be celebrating, but Alberta families are not back in black. Martha and Henry are not running a surplus, and neither are their kids. Uh, our health care system is under incredible pressure. Each and every day we hear about this, the, the very, very unprecedented surgical wait time. We hear about staff shortages all across the health sector. And understand that when we have staff sh shortages, the cost of those staff go up because the ones who are left are working overtime. And, and so the reality is, is that our health care system is under more pressure than it ever has been. This is not a time to, to nickel and dime it relative to 2019, and it is certainly not the time to pull uh, $830 million or so dollars out of it relative to 2021. The budget is not balanced if people can't get the health care they need when they need it. If the emergency rooms across rural Alberta are closing on a, on a scheduled basis, if we can't get doctors, if we're almost a thousand teachers short in our classrooms, if families can't pay their utility bills at the end of the month because they've gone up threefold, that's not a balanced budget. That's just uh, that's a shell game. And uh, it's one that hurts Albertans.